Okay, here's a video on resolution and understanding resolution and aspect ratio. I originally did this video to help uh, RetroPie users um, on the Raspberry Pi uh, to fix blurry images or blurry screens, but I thought it'd be helpful for anyone who wants to understand a little bit more about resolution and how it works and how aspect ratio correlates to resolution. So let's get started. Here we go. Okay, so we start with aspect ratio. We all know uh, what 16 by 9 and 4 by 3 kind of means. Some people say, oh, size, but really it's the ratio of the width to the height of the screen. Um, so keep that in mind uh, when we talk about um, aspect ratio. Um, but what I want to show you is if you take the 4 by 3 and you multiply by a factor of 3, you get 12 by 9. Okay, why is this important? Well, it's not really important, but when we talk about when we talk about resolution and how it's um, commonly used, you need to realize that the height ratio is constant between the 16 by 9 and the 12 by 9. So next we talk about resolutions, right? We've all heard resolutions. Um, what's the resolution of your TV? How high is it? Well, resolution, uh, so it, started, it didn't start, but, you know, we remember 480, 720, 1080, um, 14, you know, not really 1440, but um, you, you realize all these resolutions, uh, the P is for progressive, uh, I is for interlaced, which is, is how the, the pixels are painted onto the, the screen. Um, but you'll notice 720 HD, 1080 full HD, 1440 quad, then you get into the 4K, which is actually 2160p and 4320p. Now I'm going to explain this to you, um, you know, what the what the 2160 means and um, how it relates to people talking about resolution. But let me also say that in the TV world or industry, resolution is kind of incorrectly defined by these 480, 720, 1080p's um, because you'll find out shortly how it relates to the horizontal lines of pixels, but what resolution should be is the number of pixels per a defined square area or inch, uh, similar to image still images that use DPI or dots per inch, um, but that's not uh, how, uh, how it's commonly used here. So let's talk about pixels. What are pixels? Well, you know, for this exercise, let, let's, you know, let's look at it kind of like this with uh, pixels being dots. Um, and those dots um, are, are lined up um, in rows, whether horizontal or vertical. And as those dots line up, they look like lines, okay? And, and um, you only get a certain amount of dots within that picture based off what is being sent to your screen in terms of resolution. Okay, so as we start adding more pixels uh, or dots, as you can see in this image, um, you can see that the number of pixels starts increasing on the screen and they're starting to look like lines, as I said before. So in this example, you can see what looks like three vertical lines um, of dots or pixels. And as you start putting more lines in, you start to see that, oh, there's horizontal lines as well. Well, those horizontal lines are what defines the resolution in terms of how people say what the resolution is. So although you may have heard of terms like, uh, oh, my resolution is 1920 by 1080, um, or it's 1280 by 720, um, or maybe less than that, 1024 by 576. These are the vertical resolution lines by the horizontal resolution lines. So in a 16 by 9 TV picture, you have 1920 lines of pixels by 1080 lines of horizontal pixels. Uh, and that's what people commonly call 1080p or I. Um, for resolution. So you'll hear people say, oh, that's 1080p. Well, you're not seeing the vertical lines in that description. Well, why does that matter? Well, 
This is where I said pay attention to the aspect ratio as it relates to a 4 by 3 picture as being 16 by 9 versus 12 by 9. So in this example, um, I have a, let's say, a 4 by 3 picture um, on the other side of the 16 by 9, and I say, okay, it's a 1080p resolution. Well, that's great. You may say, oh, so it's 1920 by 1080. Not so fast. That resolution for 1080p is 14, when I say resolution, the resolution pixel ratio is 1440 by 1080. So 1440 vertical lines of pixels by 1080 horizontal lines of pixels. To simplify it a little bit, if you look at these two pictures, four by three, you fit the pixels in horizontally, there leaves room in the 16 by nine for more pixels on that horizontal line, which will create more vertical lines of pixel resolution. So now at this point, you may be saying, well, why can't I just throw 1920 uh, vertical lines in a four by three picture? Well, you could, but if your TV even accepts it or can produce it, um, you're going to get a skewed image. You're either going to get a really crunched up, uh, smushed up image that doesn't look right, um, or it'll be stretched on the top, um, or it'll be cut off uh, on the picture. So that's why we talk about this one-to-one -one ratio of resolution pixel actual ratio to the aspect ratio. And when I talk about one by one, the resolution pixel ratio has to equate to the aspect ratio. So to simplify it, let's take a look at this. If you take a look at 1920 by 1080, the ratio equation is equal to 1.78 if you divide 1920 by 1080. So while I said you need to keep a one-to-one -one ratio, 16 divided by 9 equals 1.78. The one-to-one -one ratio. Why is that important? Because it gives you the best image possible, the truest image. So if you look at a 4 by 3, the 1440 by 1080 is equal to 1.33. 4 divided by 3 is equal to 1.33. Again, the one-to-one -one ratio, which keeps the picture clean, crisp, and not skewed. That's why that's important. If you want to simplify things anymore, think of a perfect square TV with an as we'll call it an aspect ratio of three by three or one by one, the same thing. What would the resolution be? It'd be 1080 by 1080 for, and it'd be called 1080p. So with that said, there are common resolutions for aspect ratios which will produce the best image. There isn't resolutions of just 1080 and 720. You can have a resolution of any number, but the important part is to make sure that the ratio of the pixel resolution is equal to the aspect ratio. So that will give you the best picture. Okay, so up in these, um, in these pictures, in these boxes, the four by three and the 16 by nine, you can see the common aspect ratios which keep a one-to-one -one ratio between the aspect and the resolution. Okay, so let's move on and let's take a look at how to correct these resolution issues in Raspberry uh, Pi, RetroArch, and RetroPi. So that's it for this video, guys. Uh, take a look at my next video if you're interested in the resolution settings as it pertains to RetroPi and Raspberry Pi uh, B+. Thanks again, guys. Bye.